four titles. But Game it, on. he wasn't that far off away away from winning two, maybe even three. Who knows? He was in the discussion for four. The man was playing brilliant. One and loads of that. Loads of it. He went to the UK Open. He went out on his first game in an utterly mad contest where he's 8 2 down, 9 8 up, and then lost it 10 9 to Graham Usher. 60. But he really is playing some magnificent stuff. And for the first time in his career, having won a title very early 91. on in the year, he must now go and add more to it. He has won only one title in each of the last four years. And while that is good, obviously, 100. the bloke's in the top 20 in the world rankings. He could win so much more. That's looking at his situation and now trying to squeeze more out of it because if you become that person, because he's not the first player to have that tag of only getting one a season. He now wants to do what the likes of Cullen have done subsequently after their first couple of seasons, go on to the next level, succeed at the European Tour, get multiple titles like you see it whatever he does in a winning sense for the rest of the season it will be 44. progression but Ryan, you he's so policy. good at the minute that if he doesn't win again this season it'll be a miraculous game thing and his game is Ryan all about so. heavy scoring and hitting Second tops first that first leg game heavy off. scoring and he hit tops plan a yeah kicks it off with a 180 chucks a 140 in there sets it up hits tops first dart for a 13 dart Ryan Searle can do that for entire games. He has done it for pretty much entire games. 140. There are two letters going through my mind right now when it comes to Richard Veenstra. And they're both O. Because at the minute, Ryan Searle looks very likely to put in a performance. When that first start is plumb like that, every time Richard turns around, he's seeing stuff like that. Whoa! There could be a gaping hole in the stage called a trap door within two or three legs if Richard doesn't get a move on. And the thing is, we know Ryan Searle can barely see. 100. It's all on field. And if he goes up there and within dart one, he has got the range sorted. You just kind of expect him to stay there. And that's when he does put in these hundred and teens averages and things like that. Look, he might drop off a cliff and he might be he might end up losing this game 6-2, who knows? But he does. You can get very excited about Ryan Searle because he can do wonderful things. Treble 17. Bound. Bullseye. 76. Richard, you require 106. Not to be a 12 darter. Might not even be a leg win here. Tops for Richard. Yes, we might have a game in our hands now. Great riposte there, but a needed Tum Plus check out there. But again, still, without hesitation, back in the 60, first start, plump. And you've got to see it, in a session where he is playing almost alongside his practice partner, Gary Anderson. Do you know much about the practice that they put in? Because they do really, really, really long games, as in something like best of 50 or something. Yeah, I think sometimes they play set play. A lot of the time, but they've only had a couple of practice sessions this year. I don't think they've found a great deal of time. I mean, what the little practice they've done is evidently paying off because both Gary and Ryan have been sensational at the start of the Players' Championship Series. It'll be interesting to see how they both perform here this weekend. If two practice sessions gets them in this sort of nick, maybe one a month is enough. 55. Well, I'd like to see Richard Vainstra play like he can because this is his ninth appearance or ninth game on the Euro Tour and his highest average is about 93. Now, we know he's better than that or can be better than that. He's just not shown it. But this is good. Really good double six for a break of throw. 114. Ryan, Ryan save it on double 18. Dart three. 69. Doesn't land. Richard, you All of a sudden, well. when I was saying that the stage might open Gains up on the third leg. and swallow him whole, everything's looking a bit more stable leg, now as he wins the last two legs and takes the Game lead for on. the first time. Two legs and 28 darts from Richard Vainstra, but Searle had darts to win both 43. of those legs. 
when Ryan signed with a new manufacturer, it would have been in the later part of 2023 and started with new equipment at the start of the season. Were you intrigued to see how he would get on with said new equipment? It almost looks like he's improved. I, look, I'm, I'm still... He's been brilliant at the start of this year. I don't... I think he's been as good as that incredible spell he had where he was chucking personal best averages in 115 and 16 in consecutive weeks, seemingly. 59. I, personally, I mean, look, you're the professional darts player. You're the one who's changed equipment. I think people get too excited about changing of darts. I think it's all about the player throwing them. As long as you're not throwing something wildly different that is not suited to, you have to remodel your throw or anything. Most of these guys can play at their top level with a set of darts that resemble their normal. Ryan, you require 127. They just look so likely to go in at the minute. Double top. Yeah, double top, right? 87. Not what does get he his... do in his practice session? Does Gary actually tell him it's in or not? Don't no. ask Gary. His My... eyesight's not, not exactly better than Ryan Searles. He wears glasses. My uncle, one of my uncles is colourblind. They play snooker Ryan all the time. Ryan and the other Ryan uncle Ponsi. just moves the brown at the very first shot just to make sure that he can't tell them difference between the red and the brown. Does Gary just let Ryan him go for things that are wrong because he can't see what he's actually hit? He'll do the Could creep up the hockey and 76. see if it's in. Three one to Vince for as possible. Double top for a steal. Thirty six. Big chance. Required twenty. Scoreline could be pretty much anything here. Games from the uh, Ryan Searle is Ryan now Searle. two out of nine Declared. on the doubles, and it's two apiece. Game but his on. scoring is magnificent. Do you know what, Dan? I think I figured it out. I bet you one of them's got one of those fancy systems where they don't 57. even have to ask anybody. It's a, it's a computer system that actually puts the scores on your laptop. Yeah, they, that would save Ryan Searle a lot of walking back and forth to the board to find out what he's actually scored. Look at it. He's just got it, hasn't he? He's got the weight of dart. He's, he's walked up there and within seconds he's just gone, yeah, I am I am absolutely fine with this. And yes, Veinster is playing well to stick in there with him. But Ryan Searle has missed darts to win the two legs he's lost. He is making so many chances for himself. He played a couple of times before. Good afternoon, Jackie. Win a piece last year. 100. 6 4 to Richard in their last meeting, which was last May. Yeah, Ryan good game, that. 94. Yeah, Richard, Richard lost the first one. 6 4. But you're right. That second meeting was a good game. 103.55 for Richard in that victory. Proves your point about the fact Ryan that there is more in his game, not just the low 90 stuff. Well, this could go. Well, it's a horrible mess now. Twenty-four. Richard, you require one hundred and sixty. Just sticking around, being pesky right now, is Richard. But that single seven scope as that. Seventy-six. The bullseye finish for Johnny Ryan, Clayton a couple of games ago was a bit of a game changer. But the bullseye's not even needed. Double eight. Seventy. Why had shots at doubles? He's already Richard, had. Forty. Double digits at the outer ring, and it's only like five. Games and he finds himself behind leg. once again. Ryan Searle, it is no exaggeration Two to say he could be 5 0 up. He trails 3 2. And the dart has not served on a plate, and you don't just gobble it up for free. You've got to hit those doubles, and if you don't, you can pay the price against opposition like this. Not been a bad standard from Richard in his winning legs so far. In fact, it's a hundred average in his winning legs. But he's had to survive darts in every single one. I know the sort of unwritten rule amongst the players is first player to a double usually deserves the leg. All right, maybe not if they're, it's a ball at the end of a 1 6 4 or whatever. But Ryan Searle, two darts at double 18. Missed in leg three. Two darts at double 16, double eight. Missed in that last leg. One dart at the bullet, a one-two-one. A makeable finish in that second leg. 
60. Well, Mrs. Flyers out there is very happy with this scoreline for now. 140. However, it might be changing. Ryan's got another chance on 86. It's not one of those checkers that he will crave because he can't need tops from this more from the north. What a setup from Bainstrom. Bullseye. Sir leaves tops, but Vainstra has been very good on the outer ring, unlike heavy metal. To open up a two leg gap. Level three. Ooh, Vainstra misses the chance now. You can't leave Sir on tops. He wasn't comfortable with that second dart, Dan. It was a bit of a, a pirouette of the wrist before he delivered dart two, but it still finds the mark. That was a really Game interesting off. turn of events. He does do that, and a lot of the time it's because he's either thinking or trying to figure out what he's hit, where he's already started the throwing action, 55. and then he just sort of whirls the hand around. It's like the sort of joke boxer doing the sort of playing to the crowd, spinning the fist around before he throws the punt. Oh, the old sugar real Leonard. Yeah, but then he can keep carry on with the throwing action and just throw it and hit what he wants. It's unbelievable. 140. We've gone from a situation where you think Ryan could be 5 0 up to a realistic situation where he could have been 4 2 down. The, the score could be pretty much anything, but you'd have to say Ryan Searle is, after three visits to the board on average, about 48. 75 80 points ahead of Richard Vainstrom. He is 3 out of 14 on the doubles. 100. The job for Saturday is very simple. Win one game and get yourself into Sunday. 98. Then if you have a hot day, you can win the title. But just get through this one somehow. That's what European Tour Darts is all about. And I think Ryan would admit 100. Ryan, you require that over the last couple of years, he's lost too many games on a Saturday. I think he would admit that. He's also skipped the odd event here and there last 40. year, where he's won seven Richard, full time at home. You've got to manage your schedule. Perfectly understandable. Oh, how about this? Double 18. Oh, Richard Vainstra so close to a blockbuster finish. Oh, he can leave tops from this one. And does. 100. So close to 4 3 up. And now the pendulum swings to the Dutchman again. Double 9. And a 4 3 lead with a break of throw for Flyers. Richard Vainstra. Well, Ryan Searle is baffled here. He will feel that he has created enough chances to win this game already and be England, sat in the Richard players' the room waiting to game play off. tomorrow against either James Wade or his mate Luke Humphreys. And yet he finds himself 4-3 down because Vainstra is the sort of player that if you give him 45. chances, he will take them. He'll punish you. Got to get back on that because that will take the pressure off the hey, scoring element. Won. If the first dart is better, and it's prime like it was at the start, he's more likely to dominate the next few legs. But at the end of leg number seven, he was at the back of the stage there with a look that was very Fred Dynage. He was just saying to himself, how? There you go. Doesn't celebrate much in a game, Ryan Searle, but he liked that one. It's only a third 180. But, I mean, this could be any score. As you saw from that little graphic we showed up, they've had darts to win every single leg, the pair of them, apart from the very first one, which still took out straight forward. 93. It's a lovely pick up there. He misses that treble. The leg is very much in the balance. However, being first to the finish here, and with Richard 60. being treblous, Ryan is the favourite to take us level after eight. Ninety-one. And another third dart Richard pick up makes the next potential shot just a little bit easier. And the fact that he hit 51 to leave 56 could be key here because he's all about Ryan leaving the top 56. of the shot. Double ten. 
he is found and it is for all it's another break and throw it's six consecutive breaks of throw we've had in this game game on I like that new dart shirt he's got by the way I like the one he had before but this one's better it's almost half Hydra half Deadpool I like it he was in the shuttle from the hotel this morning Ryan Searle and there was a presumably Belgian guy wandering past who was wearing a Ryan Searle shirt 40. and his mate was walking with him pointed at the car in which Ryan Searle was sat like pointing at his shirt 93. and the bloke looked through the window didn't recognize it he's wearing his shirt 140 not really anything else to say about that is there no, there isn't how about this Brian Searle 126. one of those annoying shots where he needed to be perfect get to a finish and Veinstra is going to get to one it could be a good one it's a great one Veinstra is finding a way in this game he's been outgunned for so much of it he's playing like bulletproof glass 86. at the start you can see right through him but now he's deflecting everything that's a missed single though wow 27 left pick your target he's gonna go for double 12 17. Chance for Searle to get Ryan back in front for the first time in a while. That missed big number cost him a dart at double. Ryan Searle will only get one. And Ryan yeah, Searle only nine needs nine. one. He is Ryan one up Searle. and one away. Ryan Searle, Searle leads Searle. this match for the first time since being 1-0 up. The one word that has been following Ryan for the last three legs, 96. recovery. There's that classic Ryan Searle left arm celebration. However, he's A81. turned bad visits into OK visits with last dart pickups. And then the recovery on that shot there to take out that 96. It could be just enough One to give him a sniff of winning 40. this tight encounter. And he's been averaging around 100 for his winning legs as well. 13, 16, 14, and a couple of 15s in there. That's good. 95. But this game has been all about moments. Toing and throwing like a Newton's cradle, this one. 60. Richard Not enough to pressure this. It allows Vange for the luxury of being able to set up. Which he does excellently. I think if you were to make this game best of 19 or even best of 31 it would just continue Richard like this the whole time 56. it's been a brilliant thing to watch is it going the distance 18. it might not Ryan, you require 80. double 10 for the match oh 60. heavy metal why is the dart 18. that would have won it One left. Oh, what a lovely little Nestler that is. That was a brilliant dart from Richard. The two of the coolest customers will now go head to head for the first time in a last leg decider in their careers against each other. Oh, the big scoring Ryan Searle has brought another 180 in this final leg. There's been some big stuff from Veinstra, but they are both now 25% on the doubles. They could both get match darts in this final leg. Oh, hang on. Ooh, five perfect darts. What a start from Searle. Brilliant miming there from Heavy Metal, by the way, because the moment he started pursing the lips, he mimicked exactly the noise that came from the crowd. <laughs> Superb timing. Just like five treble 20s in six darts at the start of this last leg. His first TV9 dart at back end last year, the Grand Slammer darts. But an 11 or 12 darter here guarantees a victory a hard fought 60, victory Ryan, you for Ryan Searle he could have won it much easier he could have lost it in the end oh. 56. didn't even go for the 60 there that was a layup and it was a very sensible one as that because imagine if he hits the 60 and starts splitting doubles he'd much rather just leave tops with Ryan, three darts in hand working his way in 
and finds the winning dart. Ryan Searle had to graft for that. 